Hey guys, Xbox Gamer 2 back again. Uh, for this video, guys, this is my end of January 2013 um, video. Um, sorry, I'm a bit late for um, getting this one up for you guys. I'm aware it's, um, we're a couple of days into new uh, new month already of February. It's just I've been away on holidays and um, yeah, I've only just got back and and I thought I'll quickly put this up for you now. And um, not much this month. Uh, just two DVDs and um, one, two, three, four, five Blu-rays. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so, some of these I've seen, some I haven't. So, um, yeah, the ones I haven't seen, let me know what you think of them. Okay, the first one here, DVD. I've just got in a second-hand shop. As you can see, two dollars. Um, Tequila Sunrise. Um, what draw to me to it? Um, mainly, um, your know, three. Great actors you got there, uh, Mel Gibson, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Kurt Russell. Uh, this is from '88. Uh, don't really recognise it, or I've never heard of it, but um, yeah, it looks alright. So, if anyone has seen Tequila Sunrise, let us know. That's one. Uh, now, this is uh, got nothing. Uh, got brand new for five dollars in a junk junky type shop, like a two dollar shop. Uh, when a Stranger Calls, this is the original 1979 film. Um, I've got the remake on DVD, I haven't watched it yet. And um, I thought, why not grab the original? And I'll watch this one first and then I'll watch the remake and see how, if they've kept it the same as the original or they've gone their own direction. So, yeah, so When a Stranger Calls. Now, the rest are Blu ray. Uh, Got here, 12 Monkeys. Um, I've known of this film for quite a while. I don't believe I've seen it before, but on the back it sounds pretty good. About a human population down to 1%. And um, I think there's like time travel or something, or something like that, uh, if I remember rightly. But yeah, that um, seems like a good flick. So Brad Pitt and Bruce Willis. So yeah, 12 Monkeys. Next one I haven't watched yet is... Comfortable Man with Mark Wahlberg. Uh, haven't watched a trailer or anything on this, but just uh, reading the back of it and that picture right there uh, wouldn't surprise me. It's just a good over the top action uh, flick. So, yeah, Comfortable Man. Now, the one I, uh, the rest of these I have seen uh, 21 Jump Street. Um, quite good. I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of um, Jonah Hill. And, um, yeah, it's not, not too bad. And it was good to have Johnny Depp in the movie and all that. And, um, yeah, it was, I was surprised what happened to Johnny Depp in the movie. I uh, didn't see that coming, but, uh, it was, yeah, it was pretty good. So 21 Jump Street. Uh, next two films are quite funny. I'll actually do this one first. It's the first one, John English. Uh, very funny. Rowan Axon does... Excellent job as like a spoof 007 agent, so yeah, and Natalie Brulia, she does a good job, and uh, yeah, John English. And next one is the sequel, John English Reborn. I went and saw this in theaters when it came out, and uh, yeah, it just uh, I find it a little bit better than the, the original, but the original is still quite good in its own right. But this one's they've done a little bit better and really funny, so um, yeah. John English Reborn. So there you go guys. Just a really quick one for you. Just that's all I've picked up in the month of January 2013. And um, yeah. Stay tuned. I'll be doing a video straight after this. And it'll be um, uh, video games I've picked up. And some books. So stay tuned for that one. And until next time guys. I'll catch you another here. I'll catch you here soon. Another video. See ya. Bye.